Welcome to our channel, where we explore the wonders of the natural world, from the lush rainforests to the depths of the ocean. Today, we're embarking on a journey back in time, a quest to encounter creatures that have walked this earth for millions of years. Get ready to be amazed by these living fossils, testaments to the power of survival and evolution. Our journey begins with a creature often mistaken for a crab, but whose lineage stretches back further than the dinosaurs. The horseshoe crab, with its distinctive domed carapace and spiky tail, is a true marvel of evolution. Imagine, if you will, a time 450 million years ago, when life on Earth was confined to the oceans. The horseshoe crab, in a form remarkably similar to its modern descendants, patrolled these ancient seas. Its blue blood, a consequence of copper-based hemocyanin carrying oxygen instead of iron-rich hemoglobin, has proven invaluable to modern medicine. This unique blood coagulates in the presence of bacterial toxins, making it instrumental in testing for contamination in vaccines and medical equipment. These remarkable creatures gather in massive numbers on beaches during spring tides, their lunar-timed rituals a spectacle that has unfolded for millennia. But the horseshoe crab's future is not assured, facing declines due to habitat loss and over-harvesting for biomedical purposes. Our next encounter plunges us into the ocean depths, to the realm of the Culacanth, a creature once thought extinct, only to re-emerge from the abyss in a discovery that shook the scientific world. Imagine the year 1938, a time when dinosaurs were believed to be the epitome of ancient life. Then, off the coast of South Africa, a fishing trawler hauled up a creature seemingly frozen in time. The coelacanth, with its fleshy, limb-like fins and ancient lineage, had been rediscovered. This living fossil, thought to have vanished alongside the dinosaurs 66 million years ago, provided a window into a time when fish were making their first forays onto land. Its sturdy fins, with bones arranged in a similar pattern to our own limbs, hint at the evolutionary journey that led to terrestrial vertebrates. Dwelling in underwater caves and canyons, the coelacanth is a master of its deep-sea domain. Despite its re-emergence into our consciousness, the coelacanth remains an enigma, its deep-sea habitat and elusive nature making it challenging to study. Our exploration of ancient life now takes us to the warm, tropical waters of the Indo-Pacific, where we encounter a creature whose ancestors once shared the seas with ammonites and other extinct cephalopods. The Nautilus, with its beautifully spiraled shell and numerous tentacles, is a testament to nature's artistry and resilience. Its shell, a marvel of biological engineering, is composed of chambers filled with gas, allowing the Nautilus to regulate its buoyancy. This living fossil, whose lineage can be traced back over 500 million years, has witnessed the shifting of continents and the rise and fall of countless marine species. Unlike its squid and octopus cousins, the Nautilus relies on a more primitive form of propulsion, using jet propulsion to move through the water. By expelling water through a siphon located beneath its tentacles, it can propel itself backward, maneuvering through coral reefs and rocky outcrops. The Nautilus's keen eyesight, though lacking the complex lens of our own eyes, is well suited for its deep sea habitat. Chapter 4, Tuatara, Guardian of the Southern Isles. Our journey now takes us to the windswept islands off the coast of New Zealand, home to a reptile that has changed remarkably little in over 200 million years. The Tuatara, with its spiny crest and ancient lineage, is often referred to as a living fossil, a relic of a time when reptiles ruled the earth. Isolated on these remote islands for millions of years, the Tuatara has evolved in virtual isolation. Its closest living relatives are not lizards or snakes, but rather, a distinct lineage that diverged from other reptiles before the dinosaurs walked the earth. The Tuatara's most striking feature is its parietal eye, a third eye located on top of its head. These reptiles are slow-growing and long-lived, reaching sexual maturity at around 10 to 20 years of age and living for over a century. Conservation efforts are underway to protect the Tuatara and its fragile island habitat. Chapter 5 Sturgeon, ancient river giants. We now travel from the isolated islands to the mighty rivers of the Northern Hemisphere, where we encounter a creature whose ancestors once swam alongside dinosaurs. The sturgeon, with its armored scutes and elongated bodies, is a true giant of the freshwater world, some species reaching lengths of over 20 feet. These ancient fish, 
whose lineage stretches back over 200 million years, have witnessed the carving of mountains, the formation of rivers, and the ebb and flow of ice ages. Sturgeons are anadromous fish, meaning they migrate between freshwater and saltwater environments to complete their life cycle. They spawn in freshwater rivers, their eggs deposited in gravel beds where they hatch and develop before embarking on a journey to the ocean. Sturgeons play a crucial role in their ecosystems, their feeding habits helping to regulate prey populations and maintain the health of river systems. However, sturgeon populations worldwide have faced significant declines due to overfishing, habitat loss, and pollution. Chapter 6. Jellyfish, the Pulse of the Ocean Our exploration of ancient life now takes us into the realm of the ethereal, the mesmerizing world of jellyfish, creatures that have drifted through the ocean's currents for over 500 million years. Their gelatinous bodies, often translucent and pulsating with life, belie a resilience and adaptability that has allowed them to thrive in oceans across the globe. Jellyfish, in a form remarkably similar to their modern descendants, were already plying the ocean currents, their delicate forms a testament to the enduring power of simplicity. From tiny, free-floating polyps, they bud and blossom into the mesmerizing medusae we often see pulsating near the ocean surface. Their tentacles, armed with stinging cells called nematocysts, are a marvel of biological engineering. Jellyfish play a crucial role in the marine food web, both as predators and prey. Their presence in the ocean is a delicate dance between beauty and danger. Chapter 7. Goblin Shark. A glimpse into the abyssal depths. Our journey plunges us into the abyssal depths, a realm of darkness and crushing pressure. The goblin shark, with its elongated snout and protrusible jaws, showcases bizarre adaptations. Its eerie, translucent skin makes it a master of camouflage. The elongated snout, covered in electroreceptors, detects faint electrical fields. Its jaws shoot forward with lightning speed to catch prey. Rarely encountered by humans, much about its behavior remains unknown. The goblin shark's unique adaptations highlight the diversity of life on Earth. Chapter 8. Lamprey Ancient Blood Drinkers Our exploration of ancient life now takes us into the world of the primitive, the realm of the lamprey, a creature whose ancestors swam the seas over 360 million years ago. With their eel-like bodies and circular, tooth-filled mouths, lampreys are a testament to the enduring power of a parasitic lifestyle. Lampreys, with their cartilaginous skeletons and lack of jaws, represent a primitive lineage of fish that diverged from the ancestors of modern fish millions of years ago. Their most distinctive feature is their mouth, a circular, sucker-like structure lined with rows of sharp, rasping teeth. Lampreys are parasitic, using their mouths to attach themselves to the bodies of other fish, rasping through scales and skin to feed on their blood and bodily fluids. While their parasitic lifestyle can be detrimental to some fish populations, they also serve as a food source for larger predators. Their ancient lineage and parasitic lifestyle have earned them a place in mythology and folklore, often depicted as monstrous creatures of the deep. Chapter 9. Crocodile Apex Predator of the Swamps Our journey takes us to the murky swamps and rivers of the tropics, home to a creature that has changed little in over 200 million years. The crocodile, with its powerful jaws and armored hide, is a testament to successful evolutionary design. Their jaws, lined with sharp teeth, deliver a bone-crushing bite, making them formidable predators. As ambush predators, their eyes, ears, and nostrils atop their heads allow them to remain submerged while scanning for prey. Crocodiles play a crucial role in their ecosystems, regulating prey populations and maintaining the balance of the food web. Chapter 10. Komodo Dragon Dragon of the Lost World Our final destination takes us to a chain of volcanic islands in Indonesia, where we encounter a creature that seems straight out of a mythical tale. The Komodo Dragon, the largest living lizard on Earth, is a testament to the power of isolation and adaptation. The Komodo Dragon, with its prehistoric appearance and fearsome reputation, is a true apex predator, ruling its island domain with an iron fist. Their keen sense of smell, combined with their forked tongues, allows them to detect carrion and prey from miles away. A bite from a Komodo dragon, while not always immediately fatal, can lead to a slow and agonizing death from infection. 
Komodo dragons are social creatures, engaging in complex behaviors such as communal feeding and territorial disputes. Female Komodo dragons are capable of parthenogenesis, a form of asexual reproduction, where they can lay fertile eggs without mating with a male. Thank you for joining us on this adventure through time, exploring the incredible world of ancient creatures that still grace our planet. We've journeyed from the ocean depths to volcanic islands, encountering creatures that have witnessed the ebb and flow of life for millions of years. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more amazing content as we continue to explore the wonders of the natural world, uncovering the secrets of the past and marveling at the resilience of life. Until next time, keep your sense of wonder alive and never stop exploring the incredible diversity of our planet.